What's up, my customers? Hey, Vince LaSalle here, back at it again with another great edition of Hidden Fashions. Oh, yes, how I love Hidden Fashions. Well, to those who are new to Hidden Fashions, I run a series called Hidden Fashions that, yes, it shows you great outfits that you can acquire in the game. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> you got to make yourself, you know, of custom created characters uh, of any anime, really. But today's edition, we got a great one for you, so let's get it started, shall we? I look fly, don't I? I, I know, I know, I know. Ow, ow. We fleeced. Look at that. Fleeced out. Look at Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but enough about that. Let's get into it. With our first outfit we got right now for you, we have, oh, man, the incredible Mojo Jojo. The power of girls. I will defeat them. Then I will fight them. Then defeat them again. Then fight them. Then defeat them again. I repeat things. Mojo Jojo. This one's awesome. Um, again, if you want to make Mojo Jojo, you have, you know, I have a build on that. But this will be a Mojo Jojo outfit. Um, I just took the hero training, of course. Everything all white. This looks awesome. And of course, the black for the fur for his fur. And then I added the turban. I added uh, Mr. Popo's turban. And not the other one because his ha looks just like this. And it has like some little thing. I don't know, like a gem. But it does have a little thing in the middle. This thing is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. Um, Let's see. Yeah, the black. Purple for the cape. Yeah. That's about it. As far as moves goes, I didn't know really what to put him. Because, you know, he's always blasting at him with guns and things like that. So I just put a little, little bit of moveset. Innocence Cannon. You know, like trap him because he's always putting traps up. Um, so you can put like trap shooter, su uh, super elite combo for the gun. He has slight, slight telekinesis, death meteor, and because uh, he's super smart and headshot. Blades of judgment and super godfist, of course, because that god complex. And there is Mojo Jojo, pop of girls. All right, um, let's see. So our second outfit we have for you today, classic Superman. Yes, that's right. Ha <laughs> ha, Supes himself. Yes, get to flying with this. I know it's like very popular type. You know, a lot of people rock the Superman, so they already know what it is when they see you. So you just get the Tide Patroller, get the four star, and this works for human or sand, um, of course, because I'm a sand. And then uh, training temple will do, you know, will put the hands down. Cause I know a lot of people put the hands out, you know, and I, I really don't, uh, I, I don't like it. I don't like how the hands go out there. So I keep it, you know, put it skinnier. And there we go. Of course, for the underwear, we don't have the belt, but that's all right. But we got the shoes though, the nice pointy shoes, tall boots. And there you have Superman. And I put the emblem. It's not in the middle, the crest. So I put it. Up on the side, Castle Corp, made yellow. So you know how it is. <laughs> Classic Superman. Um, and this this is it's very good because uh, you can switch the colors however you want. If you feel like you want the little darker movie version or you want it light or you want, you know, pre-crisis Superman, you want it a little lighter, make sure you adjust the colors. Great, great outfit. As far as moves, you already know what's up. We got the Darkness I beam We got the Kaioken Assault, the Freedom Kick the destructive ray or you know darkness twins or not darkness twins i'm sorry you can do ivy if you want you can do because you know it's the heat vision you can also do like ice field for the ice breath um darkness rush melee is amazing you just fly grab them uppercuts and then the i beam at the end it's a lot of i beaming and then in a sense breath for the super breath and then hyper movement because you know he's faster than a spinning bullet and there you have soups Lying. Look how the cage is mad. It's crazy. Ronald McSuper. All right. For the third outfit we got for you, we have it's a combination of Kabito Kai or just regular Kabito. So this will be Kabito Kai. Let's get into it. Get the four star out, of course. Make it red. Trendy work or clothes, excuse me. Trendy work clothes for the pants. I love them. They just look so clean. 
Um, feet, again, trendy work clothes. They worked out perfect. Z sword, that's just optional. <laughs> you don't have to, I just put it. But that would be it without it. Awesome, right? I love the way it looks. Um, slight tweaking if you want. If you want a little brighter, put that orange there so it's a little brighter. But this this is a good, good replica of his outfit. Um, I had to make this a little darker than normal, like I wanted to. Just so it'll pop. Because right here it's a little light, and I wanted it to pop more, you know? So, that's why that's like that. I wanted it to pop more. And there we go, man. That is awesome. I really like this one. I took time into this one, guys. This one was good. As far as Kibito Kai, or just regular Kibito... I used the Death Wave, Kai Kai, of course, Shock Wave, Divinity Unleashed, because I feel like they're Kai's, they probably power up like that, and it looks cool, because actually, that's the kind of way he kind of powered up when it was Budokai 3, him and Broly, so, Death Meteor, Telekinesis, Sword, Sword of Hope, you know, you got the, you know, got the Z-Sword, and then uh, Kaioken, I mean, why not, he's a Kai, and Spinning Blade, and there we go. Now, let's see, um, what else do we have? We got Star-Lord for you. And then, uh, let's see, from Guardians of the Galaxy, Star-Lord. Yes. <laughs> the dancing guy, you know, he, he would break out the moves. What moves we got for you? Uh, we, we, got, we, got, we got some moves. I know we got some moves. We got even, yeah. You got some moves for you? Yeah. Rocking out that 80s music. But we got Star-Lord for you. Let's see. I think it's Peter Quill. But uh put the jacket here. You know, the burgundy one. Patented jacket he wears. Underneath it's like a baby blue shirt. It could probably be about right here. I like baby blue. I it's like a blue shirt. Blue shirt underneath. Um blue pants. Blue or black. Depending on what you want. Blue or black. I went with blue. Brown belt. You know, buckle, all that good stuff. And then complete. The ensemble, you know, with the hands, because they don't go down all the way. That's why they don't go down all the way. So I completed with these, and then boots, regular boots. Now the boots can be black or brown. I just went with the brown, and of course we don't have the patented mask that he wears, which is so cool. But I felt like the eyes really got to it, and I mean this is, a, you know, it's a mask that just goes over the face. There's no straps, just like his. That's why I did it. It just goes right over the face, a gas mask. And there is Star-Lord. Yes. Now, he he's shooting up the place. So elite being, elite shooting, Dodon Pa, Dodon Ray, he's dancing. So we gotta make him dance. I mean, come on. Burning Strike, you know, that super pump kick, you know, that sweet chin music. And then uh, super elite combo, Future Super Saiyajin, and then a Force Shield, you know, because he does use Force Shields, so it's pretty cool. Or a Rolling Bullet, whatever, you know, Dimension Cannon, whatever you want to do for the evasive. And there is Star Lord for you guys. Let's keep it moving along, man. This is getting good. Let's see. Uh, for fifth, we have All Might. Yes, that's right. All Might for My Hero Academia. Amazing show, man. I've been told so much about this show. It's just just amazing things about it, man. And I love the character All Might. Super powerful. Check out this All Might outfit. Now, this would be great. You don't even have to make All Might. Just having the outfit in general. Now, I made, um, I made a couple of entries on Hidden Fashions with My Hero Academia characters. So, but this this one's awesome. Um, All Might was actually my first My Hero Academia build. So let's get right into it, shall we? Show you how I did it. Now, um, get the pilot suit both ways. Four star for the wrist and then time patroller. That's all you're gonna need. Put a little bit of red here or white, however you do see it. Um, I like where this blue was. Put the white for the strip. Blue for the pants. You already know if the sides white. Trimming red. Right here, the belt yellow, wrist yellow, boots yellow, red here up the tip, red uh, uh, white up the bottom, and there you have a great All Might. Awesome, right? As far as moves goes, we got Super God Fist, we got Sledgehammer, Arm Crash, Key Blast Thrust, you can use that as well, Super Dragon Fist, just bruiser moves, just bust them up, Ju uh, Justice Combination, 
or you can use Justice Rush, Burning Strike, Justice, uh, or um, you know, the Super Pump Kick that we got the Sweet Chin, uh, Sweet Chin music, or you can use Time Skip. Super Saiyan for the, get the hair longer, just in case your character doesn't look like All Might, you know, with the long hair, you will look like All Might with this hair, with the Super Saiyan hair. So that's an added bonus. Bloody counter to, you know, end it all off. And there we go. We have All Might. Check this out. I think this one's a winner. Yeah. Get the patented All Might going. Yes. All right, man. Let's keep it going. Um, Let's see. As far as number six goes, we have Monaka. Monica. 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 However you say the guy's name. He was supposed to be the strongest person in the universe, according to Beerus. He's trying to trick Goku. But yeah, Monica, check this out. Now I walk around and people actually do know what this is. And they like it. <laughs> like I got a nice uh, message from a buddy on here. And he was like, yo, is that Monica? And I was like, yes. Yes. And he said it has to be in Hidden Fashions. And he is right. So let's get into it, shall we? All right, we got, um, all you're going to need, I mean, you're going to be have to be saying, you know, that's what's just, you know, that's the only drawback. But um, a lot of people are saying though. But um, all you have to do, or you know, you really don't have to be saying, because I'll show you. You can, you know, hit that pilot suit. You know, just try to be fair with everybody. You really don't have to be saying. See, it works with the pilot suit. So you don't really don't have to be saying. But if you are saying, then I would suggest this. You know, just get that green going underneath here. Get the green for the shorts to complete it. Make sure the pink's around there. Now, pinks may vary. Got the shoes on point here, like a slight tinge. They're not real purple. They're like a slight tinge blue, bluish at the end right here. Nice lavender, lavender shoes. And they look like the piccolo ones. So that's why I went with these. But this one's awesome. Now, you can make him totally OP. Just, just get every cancerous move you want. I mean, he's supposed to be the strongest guy, right? So Spirit Bomb, Reverse Launcher, Big Bang, Focus Flash, Super Black, Divine, Super Saiyajin, and then, or you can, you can get the Super Vegeta going, and Vanishing Guard. I see that on rank a lot. Not that I do rank like that, but, you know, every time I do rank and you read the people's moves, Vanishing Guard seems to be a winner. And there is Monica. So if people want beef, I'll bring the cattle. What's up? All right, let's get the last one going for you guys before I'm out of here. Now, last but definitely not least, we have Raiden. Yes, Raiden himself from Mortal Kombat, the Lightning or Thunder God. Yeah, he's the Thunder God. I'm going to say Lightning God, but he is the Thunder God. Thunder God himself. Now, let's check this out. Now, I went with the old school. I'm, you know, I'm old school like that. I like, you know, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, 3 trilogy, Mortal Kombat 4, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm real old school with it. Mortal Kombat Gold, so that's what I went off with. Of. Um, what you're going to do is get this nice blue. You can go a little darker if you want. I'm not mad at it. Go a little darker if you want. I see people go a little darker. I went a little bit lighter because I like the way it glows when I'm Super Saiyan. Like, it looks really, really tough when it's Super Saiyan, I'm telling you. And then uh, get the black for the sash, of course. White for the sleeves. White for the pants. Wrists, all black. And all white for the shoes. All white for the, you know, just all white. We got the all white going. And then, of course, you're going to get the sage patented hat. This is awesome. Um, As far as moves goes, we got Super Dragon Flight for that lightning Shidori type uppercut. We got Evil Explosion, of course. And if you're Super Saiyan, oh, so, man, it's one of my favorite moves. Lightning of Absolution, of course. I mean, come on. Turtle Style Last Resort. Muten Roshi. We have Super Electric Strike. Mystic Flash. Looks like a powerful electric strike. It's amazing. And then we have Blaster Meteor. Again. Now, if you want, completely up to you, though. If you're like, oh, I'm not feeling turtle style last resort. It never lands, Custom Kid Gaming. You're a fucking idiot, Custom Kid Gaming. I understand. I understand. Sorry for the F bomb. But grab that spirit bomb. That's that's what I would suggest. Spirit bomb, it comes through his body, it looks like lightning, and then you whip it, and then it fishtails back to you. 
I mean, it, it, it's amazing, and it does look like lightning, blue and like blue lightning. So there we have it, guys. Oh yeah, I'll give you a, a little, little, little something else. Um, thanks for rocking with me with this hidden fashions, man. I love this series, and I hope you guys do too. I'm gonna continue to push this, you know, get these outfits out here for you guys. Just gonna show you something real quick. I thought it was hilarious. So I was walking around the lobby yesterday. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> I was walking around the lobby yesterday like this. It's the Kid Boo is back. Now this is a quick Kid Boo that you can do, guys. Right here, right? Oh, hands. Whoops. We got to get the battle going. Um, Let's see. We'll grab that. And there you go. You got the Kid Boo going. Of course, you can grab the hat or whatever you choose to grab. I forgot which. It's like, it's down here somewhere, right? The Did I pass it? Oh, see, it's kind of off with the tinge. But you can also grab that as well. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for rocking with me with this Hidden Fashions, man. This was a great one. I will have another one up probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. But I will be doing some builds today. It's been a while, I know. And thank you guys for stopping by, man. All my customers out there, peoples, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, man. Stay tuned. This has been the South from Custom Kid Gaming. Yeah. Signing out. Peace. Ain't this a pity watching your pretty smile so warm And I am already halfway out the door And you'll go and kiss me, say you a tipsy baby